Okay, the only tool you'll need for this is a 000 times 50 millimeter crosshead screwdriver. The first thing you want to do is remove the battery from the camera and then unscrew all the screws you see me unscrewing. Just be sure to apply quite a lot of pressure as all these screws will round off quite easily. When unscrewing these screws, I just put the camera on a soft bit of foam to protect the front. This screw just needs to be loosened off, but not taken out. You're going to want to just wiggle the EVF back and forward while you're removing this top piece to get it fully loose. Use your screwdriver just to pry up these side panels as they actually hold the rear piece captive. And the same on this side. You're going to want to position your EVF in its highest position and then use your screwdriver to push against the rear panel. Once it's partially off, you're going to want to do the rest by hand. Remove the smaller ribbon cable first, and then remove the larger ribbon cable for the EVF second. Take care as these rip quite easily. There's also a screw here, and another one here. Mine were damaged during the initial teardown. Once you've done all those, the EVF should come off quite easily. All you have to do now is just reverse the steps and slowly begin to reassemble the camera. I've used an anti-static bit of foam just to cover up the hole where the EVF was. This is a very temporary fix and I'm currently trying to work on a more permanent solution. I hope that helps, especially when mounting the C100 Mark II to any gimbal. If you want to see my first test of this on the gimbal, click on the video above.